Affiliate Marketing Blueprint. Thank you for purchasing the course. You've made the right decision. I will teach you the tips and tricks to become a successful internet affiliate and more. You've already made the purchase for this course, which means you're serious and committed. Well done. That's the first step in becoming a successful affiliate. Keep that fire burning all the way to the end of this course and beyond. There are six modules lined up for you. Each module contains valuable lessons that will be the beacon in your online marketing endeavors. You'll learn the basics, the intricacies, and everything in between. Let's begin! In this very first module, you'll be introduced to the wonders of affiliate marketing. All the essentials that you need will be here. You'll also learn the plans and strategies to become what is described as a super affiliate, which is a level of eminence in affiliate marketing. I'll also tell you the software and tools that you need to build your affiliate business. You'll be guided along the way. Before we go any further, we should have a clear picture of what we've committed ourselves to. To master something, we need to know the ins and outs of it. So what is affiliate marketing? There is no simpler way to describe affiliate marketing, but to compare it to being a sales agent. An affiliate is essentially an online sales agent that conducts sales to earn commission. They sell products from a vendor. When a sale is made through an affiliate, the affiliate will receive commission from the vendor. For example, when a buyer makes a purchase from your affiliate links that you provide, the payment will be made to the vendor, and the vendor in turn will pay your commission. This is the basic of what you need to know. Later we'll go through these steps and you'll have a deeper understanding. Essentially, it's a performance-based marketing. How much you earn as an affiliate to the vendor corresponds to your sales. If you were to make a lot of sales, then you'll earn a big amount of commission. If not, however, you won't earn as much. That is how this business works. You will not lose any money if no expenditures were made on advertising. I'll explain more on that later on. You will only be commissioned when a sale is made through the link you provide. You will not be commissioned for sales that were made from other links. Later on, you will learn where you can provide the affiliate links, how to drive traffic there, and many more things. It's not as simple as it sounds, but it's also not as difficult as you'd think. Why Affiliate Marketing? Besides the fact that it enables you to make money online and work from home, here are some other pros of being an affiliate. First, you don't have to make your own product. You don't have to go through the trouble of actually coming up with ideas and the labor of producing something. Instead, you'll be selling other people's products. Remember, you are an online sales agent. Your main task is to make sales. Also, you don't have to provide customer support for the products you sell. All inquiries or complaints will be directed to the product's vendor. The vendor is responsible for its products and customer care. They will bear the brunt if anything goes wrong. However, your reputation and credibility would be affected too, but not as severely as the vendor's. The commission for an affiliate ranges from 50% to 100%. This is a very high commission rate that can rarely be found elsewhere. I know that 100% commission might seem too good to be true and doesn't make sense, but you'll understand how it works later on. Lastly, since you do not have to spend money on making products, you are facing a lower risk than a product vendor. There are some ways which you can still suffer a loss, especially when it involves advertising. We'll get back to that later. All of this knowledge you can get from pretty much anywhere. So what's so special about this course, the Affiliate Payout Machine? Why choose this? Or more importantly, what does it offer? Before we get into that, let's identify the common mistakes made by other affiliates first. The first mistake an affiliate always makes is not building their own mailing list. This is an extremely big mistake, as the mailing list will be the foundation of your affiliate marketing endeavor. It is the basis of it all and you should regard it with the highest importance. The second folly of a common affiliate marketer is not knowing how to generate traffic. There are various ways to do this, mainly through advertising on Facebook, Google AdWords, and many others. 
generating traffic is far more intricate than it's thought to be. Which leads to the next point, investing without making profit. Marketing involves research that takes a long time. Finding your target audience and coming up with ways to approach them requires a lot of work on your end. An inexpert affiliate would engage in an advertising campaign with limited knowledge of its inner workings and, naturally, would lose more money than they gain. An affiliate marketer should be someone the prospect can trust. After all, an affiliate is, in some aspects, a sales agent. Therefore, they need to have the prospect's trust to close a sale. That trust is built by the affiliate marketer's credibility. There are various ways to build your credibility that I will explain in the later part of the course. You'll learn, and hopefully succeed, where most newbie affiliates fail. The last common affiliate mistake is sending traffic through a naked affiliate link. A naked link is a hyperlink where the anchor text is the URL itself. It tends to scare away prospective buyers. Instead, an affiliate should cloak it and choose a legible word as anchor text to insert the hyperlink. Now we don't want to make the same mistakes, do we? For purchasing the affiliate payout machine, you will know how to avoid ending up like the unsuccessful affiliate novices. In this course, you will learn how to build credibility to win the trust of your prospective subscribers, how to generate traffic and find prospective buyers to boost your sales, and find the right products to sell, products that are able to make a high number of sales and also provide a high commission rate. How to build an email list, which I mentioned is a vital part in building an affiliate business. Also, writing follow-up emails to be sent to those in the email list. Last but not least, how to increase your commission to earn a five-figure pay per month and become a super affiliate. What is a super affiliate? No, it doesn't involve getting bitten by a radioactive affiliate. It's a next-level affiliate, with high earnings, of course. The difference between a super affiliate and a regular affiliate is, well, allow me to demonstrate. However, this doesn't mean that all affiliates will earn the same amount. The exact number of sales of a product is unpredictable, which means the exact commission earnings for all affiliates will differ. I also cannot guarantee you success. That is up to you. On your end, you need to give your 100%, just like how I did. You need to be positive, proactive, and efficient. Attitude will be your drive to success. Now, I will introduce to you my super affiliate strategy. What other affiliates usually do is direct traffic to vendor websites through an affiliate link. They might bring a lot of traffic too. But the problem with this is, if you spend on advertising and the product doesn't sell, you'll lose money and gain nothing. Also, you have to remember that the conversion rate for first-time visitors is low, which means high sales is not expected. Lastly, all those who make purchases will be subscribed into the vendor's email list, and not yours. As an affiliate marketer, you want them to be in your email list too. The secret actually is to direct the traffic to your website first, before redirecting them to the vendor's website. This is what super affiliates do. Why do super affiliates do this, and why should you too? Because you'll gain subscribers. When you direct them to your website first, you'll have the chance to collect their email address and add them as your subscriber. How to do this will be explained later on. Even if you are not able to close down a sale, at least you're able to follow up with them once you have them in your email list. You can still convince the unresponsive visitors to buy the product you're promoting. Or even if they don't, you can keep the subscribers for future use. By then, you'll know where to find your prospective buyers for your next product. Also, now that you have subscribers, you have the chance to introduce yourself and gain their trust. This is how you build your credibility. Now before you can begin, you'll need a few things to prepare. I will show you the software and tools you'll need to build your affiliate business. First of all, get a domain name for your website. You must create one and then register it. I would recommend using the Namecheap website, which offers domain name registration for 10 US dollars per year. This is where you need to be creative. After getting a domain name, it's time for you to find web hosting for your website. 
A web host is a storage space for your business, and it also allows access for your buyers. For this, I recommend HostGator, and it costs between 5 and 10 US dollars per month. An autoresponder will also come in handy. It is a program that allows you to respond to emails automatically. When your email list builds up, you will have a lot of people to respond to. For this, it's recommended that you use Aweber or GetResponse. This service will cost you 20 US dollars per month. Lastly, you'll need a PayPal account. To run an online business, you will need to choose between the Premier or Business PayPal account. In their website, they'll tell you the difference. To build a website, you can use Dreamweaver to build the HTML. It's reliable and also a popular choice. But you would need some training and the know-how. So you can choose Dreamweaver, or you can go for WordPress, which is a little bit easier to learn. And WordPress also features Optimize Press that will help you create a landing page. Link tracking will also play a big role in your business, as you want to know how many visitors you have. It will also help you evaluate your own performance. For this, I recommend YoURLs.org. It's free to use. Do not use TinyURL or Bitly when you want to send links. They tend to end up in your subscribers' spam folder. These are some optional tools if you want to go the extra mile in delivering your business. They're not necessary, of course, but they do help. For graphic editing, you can use Photoshop or GIMP. These two provide the same service, which is to design, retouch, or edit any image. For those who want to provide a more visual experience for their subscribers, the editing software that I recommend is Camtasia Studio. I will sum up everything in the previous modules and share some additional techniques with you in this module. With this, I can guarantee that you will build up your own empire of affiliate business through the process I teach you in this module. In this module, I will teach you how to set up a simple site to increase your email list, how to write simple, fast and effective promotional emails, and how to follow up with your subscribers. All these techniques are vital to an affiliate marketer. The larger your email list is, the more profits you're able to make. As I mentioned before, you don't send traffic to the vendors page through your affiliate link just like that. You'll be wasting a great opportunity. If you just send the traffic off to the vendors page, 96 to 98 percent of the traffic will be wasted. You miss the chance to increase your email list. Worst case is you pay for the traffic. But the vendor sales letter doesn't make the sales, you lose money. I'm trying to help you avoid this worst case scenario while you're building up your affiliate business. Another thing is that the vendor gets to grow their email list, but not you, even though you earn the commission as an affiliate. So, the next problem is how to collect the visitor's emails. Use a squeeze page. That's it. Direct your readers to your squeeze page first before sending them to the vendor's page. You can create a win-win situation with this. A squeeze page is a page designed to collect the name and email of the visitors. You can collect the emails of your visitors and at the same time earn the commission from the vendor. This is an example of a squeeze page. As you can see in the page, enter your best email below and download for free. The only additional thing is the free report to download here. This is a small tip for you. Include a free report in your squeeze page. The format of a squeeze page is simple. Include an attractive headline, a big red arrow, and an opt-in form. The best color choices for the headline will be dark red or black. It must be able to give a teaser of the product that they're going to purchase later. I would recommend you use the font of Tahoma, Arial Black, or Helvetica. The big red arrow in the middle of your headline and opt-in form leads them to fill in the form. It's important to catch the attention of readers. The big arrow pointing to the opt-in form will lead their gaze to the opt-in form, hence increasing the conversion rate. The opt-in form will always come with an orange or yellow button, as shown in the slide now. These two colors have been tested in increasing conversion rates as well. With the expanding of your email list, you definitely need an autoresponder to manage your subscribers. I recommend that you subscribe to GetResponse or Aweber. 
Both are paid online software that helps you manage your subscribers almost on autopilot. $15 per month for GetResponse and $19 per month for Aweber. After the opt-in email, you redirect the traffic to the vendor's page through your affiliate link. Or you can redirect the traffic to your bonus or review page first, before the vendor's page. This is the most recommended for you. This way you can build your credibility and hence keep the subscribers with you. All in all, it's only three simple steps. This way you can double or triple your mailing list. First, attract and send the traffic to your squeeze page first, and then to the vendor's page or your bonus or review page. It's just that simple. This is an example of my review page, with my bonus offered together on the same page. This is where I will lead the traffic to after the squeeze page. Now I'll reveal to you how to write a follow-up email, which acts as a reminder for your subscribers. The format of the follow-up email is more or less the same as the promotional emails. You need an attractive headline. Use sentence case as displayed in your headline. Avoid too much usage of capital letters. Next, you can implement numbers, stats, or a scarcity factor in your headline to create a sense of urgency for your readers, such as Bonus, limited to 50. Keep it short and precise, within 35 to 50 characters, only because that's the standard length visible in a subscriber's inbox. The other small technique in writing the email headline is to give a teaser, to create a sense that if they don't open the mail, they miss something important. For instance, reasons why I hate MLM, or is this the last software you ever need, and so much more. On the other hand, keep the body of the email within 200 to 300 words only. There's no need to be long. State your main purpose and remind them about the offer that is about to end. Make it 55 characters per line, a time-tested method where people feel it's easier to read with the shorter length per line. Insert three URLs to the same site. Insert it in the beginning, middle, and at the end of the email. The URL can be linked to your affiliate link or review or bonus page. As mentioned before, the most recommended step is to link the visitors to the review or bonus page first. You need to write at least four follow-up emails with the interval of one email per day. This is the best number that I've tested with my own list. Each of the emails serves a different purpose. First, as the promotional email. The second serves as a reminder email. Thirdly, a Q&A email. And then the last one is the last call for the offer. A small little reminder here. Remember to use the autoresponder to send all these emails. You can set the dates in the autoresponder and it will take care of the rest. You can use Link Tracker or Link Cloaker. Implement both of these to keep track of the people that are clicking on the links in your emails. Through this, you can improve your email writing. No worries, it's one of the services in the autoresponder. What if you come across some complicated, long links? Go to yourls.org to simplify your link. People will be more likely to click on a shorter link than a longer link, because longer links give the impression of a spam page. Simplify your link to get more clicks. Welcome to the Affiliate Payout Machine. We're now at module number two, which is choosing the most profitable product to promote. In this module, you will learn how to choose the best affiliate program, one that rewards well. For that, you will also learn the formula to determine an affiliate program's profitability. It will be just a simple calculation that you can do yourself. Lastly, I will share with you the list of popular marketplaces where you can promote and sell products. Here are some facts you should know about affiliate marketing. You don't have to worry about lack of products to promote as a new product is launched every day. This means that the number of products to choose from will never run out. However, not all of them will sell. If you pick a product that doesn't bring profit, then it would be a waste of time, energy, and money if advertising is involved. This is why it's imperative that you choose the best product. This is where affiliates come in. Affiliates help with the sales of small businesses. They promote and put certain products on the map. And if you're skilled and efficient enough, 
you'll play a bigger role than the product vendor in generating sales. They would depend on you to bring in the buyers. However, some products sell and some don't. That has always been how business works. If you choose the wrong product, you will not earn as much as you would expect. So how do you avoid making this mistake? By having a set of criteria, of course. A criteria that a product must meet before you can sell it. Firstly, you need to choose the product with the most rewarding commission. Do not go for anything less than 50%. They're not worth your time. Digital products sell better than physical products. Physical products do sell, but far less than digital products. Also, physical products seldom have 50% commission. Your earning will be less for the same amount of work a digital product affiliate would do. Also, make sure the earnings per click, or EPC, is at one US dollar. I will explain to you more about EPC later on in this module. The concept of upsell, to put it simply, is like an extra offer. For example, when you go to McDonald's and you order a small set, the cashier will ask you, would you like the medium size instead? This allows McDonald's to increase their revenue. If the vendor provides an upsell, it's good for you as well, because you'll be able to gain more commission. A bonus criterion would be a commission that has a recurring element. It means that the vendor will commission you monthly. For example, if it's a membership website and a monthly fee is required, you'll be paid monthly as well. Another bonus criterion is instant payment. When I first started, there was no instant payment. Affiliates had to wait for around 30 days before getting paid. This is because customers might ask for a refund, which is why the pay had to be halted. Now, however, sites like JVZoo provide a system called tentative payment, where you will get instant payment. However, if a customer asks for a refund, they will retract your commission instantly. Also, you need to ensure the quality of the product you're going to sell. If it's a low-quality product and you choose to sell it, you'll lose the trust of your subscribers, and that will affect your future sales. Lastly, of course, the demand of the product. In-demand products will undoubtedly sell better. If the market demand of the product is low, then it would be a waste of time and energy for you. You will also have to evaluate the credibility of the sales letter provided by the product vendor. If it's not appealing to you, then you shouldn't do it. Also, promotional tools, such as banners and emails, should be provided by the vendor. Having these tools ready beforehand will make it easier for you to do your promotion. In the previous slide, I mentioned EPC. Now, I will elaborate and explain about it, and will introduce the formula to calculate it, too. EPC stands for Earnings Per Click. It's the average earnings of each click that you send to the vendor website. It involves your conversion rate. How do you calculate your EPC? The formula of EPC is sales divided by the number of clicks. Picture this scenario. Let's say you're able to direct 100 clicks to the vendor website through your affiliate link that you provide. And from these 100 clicks, two of them made purchases of a product worth $50. So $50 times 2 equals $100. That's your sales, the money you've made. Now, use the formula to find EPC, which is sales divided by the number of clicks. What you make from sales here is $100 divided by the number of clicks, which is here, 100 clicks. The answer would be the EPC. In this case, the EPC is $1. Let's go through it with another example. If you direct 300 clicks to the vendor website through your affiliate links, and eight of them make a purchase of a $100 product, your sales would be $800. With the EPC formula, sales divided by the number of clicks, you'll have sales is $800 and the number of clicks is 300. After dividing, you'll get $2.67. That amount is the EPC. Not so hard, huh? In conclusion, the higher the EPC, the more likely it is to get high commission from the product. However, though it sounds like a great idea to make as much sales as possible, it's not wise to direct traffic randomly. You need to know who is the product's target market 
and who is in the niche. This is the basic rule of marketing that applies in all business. Remember, all traffic must be targeted traffic. The standard commissions are 100% for products that cost between $7 to $12. 60 to 75% for products that cost $17 to $27. And 50% for products that cost $37 and above. The prices I've mentioned would usually have a high EPC. It means these products are worth promoting. They fit the criteria in which a profitable product is required. If you do find products that offer commission as the mentioned prices and also fit the criteria I listed, go for it and promote the products. Occasionally, promote a high price product. A high price product is $100 and above. You will usually get 50% commission for these products. But it's not recommended to do it all the time, and it is tempting. But it doesn't generate sales, and not many are interested in a high price product. If you keep pushing for a high price product, your subscribers might get tired of you. Here's a list of popular marketplaces for you to find products. Clickbank.com, JVZoo.com, and WarriorPlus.com. Bear in mind, there are various marketplaces on the internet, such as eBay, Amazon, and many more, but I will only show you the most popular marketplaces for digital products. As mentioned, digital products promise higher sales than physical products. I will lead you through the techniques in generating traffic via buying solo ads from the other vendors. Buying solo ads with other vendors is indeed the fastest and most effective way to generate traffic to your site for starters. In addition, the calculation of how much you spend depends on how much traffic the vendors send to your page, pay per click. This way you can get targeted leads that are interested in your niche. Instead of getting useless traffic to your site without making any purchases, you get the targeted leads as well as increasing your email list. What makes buying solo ads the best is you can see instant results and conversion rates to your site. First and foremost, you need to understand that solo ad emails serve as a pre-sell. It doesn't make any sales yet. The solo ad emails you send to the readers only leads them to your squeeze page with your free report to download. Hence, the solo ad message and squeeze page must be congruent so it makes sense to the readers. Once again, I want to show you another example of my squeeze page with the headline, Big Red Arrow, and the orange opt-in form. It's worth mentioning a squeeze page once again because it is a fundamental tool to the success of affiliate business. A squeeze page should be simple but action-oriented, as mentioned, pre-sell to give a teaser to the readers. After the headline, the big red arrow to lead the readers to the opt-in form. It has been tested that if you only ask for their email instead of name and email, results come in at a higher conversion rate. A small reminder for the opt-in form, use an orange or yellow button. It's proven to create higher conversion rates as well. Don't use other colors. Also to increase the conversion rate, use single opt-in instead of double opt-in. This is what I've learned from my experience throughout the years. You can use the basic format for an email I taught in the previous modules for writing a solo ad email. Let's revise the format once again. First, keep the email short and precise, within 55 characters per line, with 200 words maximum. Insert three URLs that link to the same site, in the beginning, middle, and the end of your email. The additional technique I'm going to discuss here is the semi-blind offer. You only give half the information about the offer. Arouse their curiosity to know more about what the next offer is that you're going to give them. This is an example of a solo ad email. You can start with stating the problem the readers are facing right now. Insert a URL after this. And then, you tell them the solution for the problem. Same thing here, you insert another URL here. You can end it right after this with a call to action, or continue with a PS line and end it with an extra URL. Keep in mind that you send the traffic to your squeeze page first. Do not send the traffic straight away to the vendor's page. 
This is a vital step for building your own email list first. You can track the conversion rate or the clicks you send to the vendor's page through Google Analytics and Link Tracker tool. Google Analytics is a free service from Google. Simply search it in the Google engine and sign up for free. However, there are several Link Tracker tools available online that you can purchase to have more features. There are some questions to ask the solo ad vendor before you agree to buy his ads. First, you definitely need to know how big the email list is. This way you can estimate the clicks that are going to get sent to your page. And then, you need to know how the vendor manages to get your leads. The prospects that have a higher chance to purchase your product. How many clicks is the vendor able to generate to your page? Next, what is the offer the vendor can provide? This is to know how much you need to spend for the clicks he sends into your page. Most importantly, how old is the list? This determines the effectiveness of the list. If the list is too old, it may contain some inactive email addresses. So, after knowing all the techniques to deal with the solo ad vendors, the next step is to search for solo ad vendors. But where to get solo ad vendors? The links are provided at the bottom of this video. Feel free to check those links out after you get ready your solo ad emails. The alternative way is to search solo ad or email advertising plus niche name with the Google search engine. However, you need to do some research on the reliability of the site beforehand. How much should you spend for the solo ads? It all depends on the estimated numbers of clicks you expect from the vendor. This is why tracking is really important, because you need to know your numbers. The most ideal deal will be from 20 cents to 40 cents per click. 50 cents per click is still a reasonable number, but provided the vendor can really send in good traffic. If you have little appetite to spend too much on this, start off with a small number, such as 200 clicks. If the deal is 40 cents per click, the money you need to spend for this is $80. In this module, I will teach you the secret to double your commissions with bonuses to give those sales an extra boost. In this module, you will learn how to double your commission, or even more. You can even get five times your commission. This will be done with a technique. The best part is, this technique can be prepared within three days. To get a better idea of what bonuses are, check out this website splendidbonusdeals.com. You'll see an array of bonuses offered. So, what should your bonuses be like? Firstly, it has to be relevant to your product. If the bonus is not at all relevant to your product, then the buyers who got it wouldn't appreciate it, and might even be confused by the bonus deal. Also, they won't feel rewarded. Your bonus should be worth five times the product. If your product is $100, your bonus should be worth $500. This is not a rule that you must follow, it's just a general principle. The bonus must be rare, meaning that it is only accessible through you. If you provide a bonus that can be found elsewhere, it's not special anymore, and the prospective buyer might not be intrigued by it. Bonuses can be in many different forms. One is a special report. A special report can be an interview, testimonial, and many things like that that pertain to the product. It can also be a video, this is especially for affiliates, that provide a more visual experience for the subscribers. Giving out downloadable software could be a nice bonus, especially for products that require a particular software or tool. Remember, these are bonuses for the buyers, so the software could only be accessible for them. If the product is a PowerPoint presentation or anything that requires design, it's a good idea to throw in a template for them. Lastly, a free membership. This is especially good if you have exclusive contents in a website that are not accessible for regular visitors, or if you provide special benefits for members of a website, in which case it's a bonus that allows access to other bonuses. How to prepare for those bonuses? There are various ways. The first one is to, of course, create it yourself. This is recommended for special reports. 
or you can purchase a private label rights product. A private label rights product is content, such as infographics, that is prepared beforehand and can be used by you when you purchase it. Sometimes, the product vendor would prepare the bonuses. If they don't, you can make a request from them. After all, the vendor would benefit from it as well. You don't have to depend on them to give the bonuses. You can also do a joint venture with another affiliate or product vendor. From there, you can suggest the bonuses to them, and when an agreement is made, all parties can benefit. There are two ways of giving these bonuses, manually or automatically. When you have a large client base, it's not recommended to do it manually, but for starters, it's okay. The conventional way is to ask the customer eligible for a bonus for a receipt through email and give them access to the bonuses within 48 hours. Bonuses that are given automatically will require you to create a bonus page. In JVZoo and Warrior Plus, two of the most popular marketplaces, allow you to redirect purchasers that are eligible to your bonus page. There, the bonuses are made accessible for them. Once again, I want to welcome you to the Affiliate Payout Machine. I will teach you the secret techniques of how to write an effective review of the product that I've been using for years. After knowing what affiliate marketing in a nutshell is, and how to choose the right product from the previous modules, what's next will come in handy. In this module, I will lead you through the steps on how to write simple and effective reviews that generate affiliate commission in addition to how to create a one-page affiliate website. The review article is to add into the one-page affiliate website with the purpose of introducing the features and benefits of the product. A small tip here with the review writing, remember to focus more on the benefits. Features of the product are equally important, but benefits are what most people are looking for. They react more to positivity. After selecting a product to promote, What's the next step? You should know the answer by now. Yes, you're right. To write a review article on the product you are promoting. First things first, you need to get review access from the product vendor. Before you can start writing, you need to understand the product. Put yourself in the prospect's shoes so that you can understand what the demand from them is. You can make the purchase through your own affiliate link so that you can get the commission from the copy you sell to yourself. However, do not do this for the purpose of cheating the system. It is for the review writing purpose. Most of the time, though, you can get review access from the product vendor for free. I will explain about this in detail. Contact the product vendor. Ask for a review copy or full access to the product. This is an alternative way to get access to the product. You can find the way to contact the product vendor in the product page. Click join the affiliates and there you go the contact given is usually through email skype or forum private message if you can prove yourself as an affiliate capable in generating sales oftentimes the product vendor will provide you a review copy and now you may be scratching your head how do you prove your credibility to the vendor i will reveal to you how to prove your credibility now there are three common things that your vendor would look at. Past sales record, your own site, and the size of email list or the traffic you send to your site. You may attach a file or screenshot of your past sales records together in an email. This is without a doubt the most solid proof you can provide. You can easily convince the product vendor even without hard selling about your credibility. Let the numbers do the talking for you. Send a link that leads the product vendor to your own affiliate site. Show the vendor how you're going to generate traffic to his site. But keep in mind, make sure you have the best sales letter in your affiliate link that's convincing. Lastly, reveal the size of your email list or the traffic to your site to the product vendor. Here is an email example for you for when you contact the product vendor for the product review access. First, introduce yourself and state the purpose of the email. Straight to the point, no need for lengthy introductions. In this example, the credibility is proved by the size of the email list, which I mentioned in the previous slide. What if you're a newbie? No worries, there's always another plan for you. Purchase the product. It is highly recommended for you to purchase the product, but optional. 
Another solution for you is sending an email to the product vendor and asking for a discount. Here you go for a second email example for a newbie. The same format is applied. The only difference is you reveal to the product vendor that you're new to affiliate marketing and then state the purpose of you sending this email, short and precise. Now that you already know how to get access to a review product from the product vendor, the next step will be writing a review article for the product. Review writing is an essential in affiliate marketing. A good review article can increase the conversion rate, hence increase the purchasing rate through your affiliate link. I will lead you step by step on how to write a good review article. Keep the article within 300 to 500 words. The review article should not exceed 500 words. Anything more than that will exceed the attention span of your readers. Write it in the conversational form, a me-to-you message. You don't have to be formal. Make it more personal and friendly. There are only two important points you should write about for a review article, the pros and cons of the product. This is the main purpose of your readers reading your review writing. Be concise and straight to the point. In addition, you can insert a photo or screenshots of the product. For physical products, you can show different angles and measurements. Here are some small tips to enhance your review writing. You can insert the five-star rating system in the article. It gives easier understanding to the readers. Or you can insert video in your article and upload to YouTube. For a physical product, you can make a demonstration video of the product. After the review writing. You need to set up your own site to upload your review and insert the affiliate link. You can use WordPress to create a site. It is the easiest way to do this without any programming knowledge. Even a novice can create a good site. I will discuss this in more detail later. The examples of domain name, such as somethingreview.com, somethingbonus.com, or somethingspecial.com. These are examples of the domain names I usually use for my review pages. Remember to host it with your own server. Don't use free blogs such as whatever.wordpress.com. Register your own domain and server. WordPress, in fact, is the easiest software I can find on the net for creating a website. You can make changes to your website anytime. In addition, you are able to create more than one site with WordPress. You can create another review page using WordPress in the future to promote other products. Most importantly, WordPress is SEO friendly. You can install a plugin to keep track of the SEO of your site. There are another two alternative ways, which are HTML pages and Dreamweaver. HTML pages require knowledge in doing the scripting, while Dreamweaver is website builder software by Adobe. If you are keen for something different from WordPress, these are the other two alternative ways to set up your own site.